There we are. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Drumio Live. <laughs> I am so excited to be back. This is awesome. I'm so excited to be here with Dave. Jared's finally back, guys. I get to. You can do more push-ups for us. He's <laughs> back. <laughs> it's back. Oh, what am I hitting? Good to here? see you guys. Yeah. That's awesome. This so, is fun. Man, tell us about that song. What's it called? That song is called "Hands of Time." Cool. Okay, that's a song that I I co-wrote with a friend of mine, and uh, it's like it starts off with this seven-four linear thing, and kind of kind of like a. It's actually in seven, think of the whole song. Yeah. I can't remember. Who was it? Sure. I was counting. I'm sure, two, was it in three, seven? Four, the whole thing was in yeah, seven. seven. I, I, for some reason, just like odd time stuff. Yeah. So it was one of the songs that I had uh, literally put my hands in, and I put my time in. Hands ah, of time. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> uh, well, Mike, is, uh, for you guys joining us, this is something we do every day in the Drumio members area, but we've kind of, you know, we're doing one free lesson a week just to kind of cool. show you guys what Drumio is all about and kind of just give back to the community. You guys have always been so good to us with sharing our YouTube videos, liking us on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, all of us just love to do this kind of stuff and, and just kind of give it to you guys for you to check it out. Yes. Uh, we're also going to be giving stuff away. Cool. Uh, today, you'll, be noti you'll notice that I'm actually wearing a new... Drumio shirt. Ooh, I like Look that. that. I know you guys. Oh, got, yeah. You guys got the, we got the old shirt. ones. Yeah, we're, we're like old school now. Yeah, I, I got the new ones, so we're gonna be giving one of these away. Not this specific shirt because I, I actually sweat a little bit today, so you don't. Want this <laughs> Some people might like that though. <laughs> and we're gonna be giving away some sticks, an EQ patch, um, a monthly one month to Drumio Live, as well as Ooh. an annual membership to Drumio Live. So we're gonna be giving away like we're three, giving away a year's three, worth, three hundred or four hundred dollars worth of stuff today. So stick around. That's all gonna happen at the end. Um, How do you win those things, by the way? Basically, all you guys need—that's a—that's a very good question. Well, thank Dave. you, Jared. <laughs> that's so why I'm here. All you guys need to do to win that stuff is you need to go to facebook.com forward slash drumio, our, yep. our drumio page, and you need to uh, obviously like the page, but then leave a comment on that page and tell us what type of symbols you use and why you use them. It's as simple as that. We're gonna kind of go through them at the end, and we're gonna randomly choose um, some people that had some creative answers and stuff like that. And so, facebook.com forward slash drumio. What type of symbols do you use and why? You're instantly entered for a chance to win. There's, quite, there's quite a tasty shirt right now of Jared on... <laughs> shirt? on, on tasty shirt. Tasty picture of Jared with the new shirt right now on Facebook. Wow. Um, Can you do that face again? <laughs> that was again? quick. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, so, Mike, t today the lesson is on um, broken up hi-hat beats. Broken right? up hi-hat beats. This is yeah, something absolutely. that I was absolutely obsessed with after listening to Dave Matthews. Mm -hmm. It's all that crazy stuff uh -huh. that Carter Beaufort does. Yep. So I'm excited to hear how you teach it today and, and your take on it. Sure. So yeah, why don't you just go, in, go into it? fun. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Um, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. I mean, I don't want to talk too much. I want to get them to playing. Um, when, uh, when Dave asked me to do the broken hi-hat beats, I thought this is going to be a lot of fun because I really enjoy this stuff. Um, and same kind of thing. There was probably an influence that I heard someone do it. And I went, oh, i got to just, as opposed to always just playing straight eighth notes and straight quarter notes mm -hmm. or straight sixteenths, we can mix the rhythm up a little bit. And these uh, are kind of for all levels. I think yeah. the ones we got here are for all levels from beginner right down to a little bit more almost a little more advanced. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a couple of uh, linear patterns. I know that some guys did some linear stuff a little while ago uh, in some of the previous lessons here, which was no two sounds are played at the same time. And all the first one is is counting eighth notes, one and, two and, three and, four and. And uh, hi-hat is on all the ands. And the bass drum is on one and three, and the snare is on two. So I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> but uh, I won't talk much because I'm losing my voice. So I'm going to show you guys how this one sounds. I'll play it slow. Maybe we'll talk about it. I'll Sounds speed it good. Up. Here we go. Straight ahead, right? Yeah. Just basically bass hat, snare hat, and keep in mind too, guys. You don't have to necessarily just play these on the on the high on the hi hat. You can go to the ride cymbal, you can go to the cowbell, you can go to the tom, whatever, and mix it up a little bit. It's just sort of a pattern to teach you guys to get away from <laughs> tick, 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 tick. something a little bit different. Should we move to number two? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. Now number two, we're getting into sixteenth notes. Very similar to what we did in number one, but we're going to add a sixteenth note to the ah of each beat. And uh, it's linear once again, so no two sounds are played at the same time. And here's how number two sounds. Now 
the cool thing you'll notice with some of these beats is you can actually play them with two hands as well. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, but some. This one you can actually, uh, I'm sure some of the questions are coming, can you do with two hands as well? I used to practice this one uh, using bass, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Or sorry, bass, right, left, snare, right, left, bass, right, left, snare. You'll see when I play it. There's number two, a little bit faster, using cool. two hands. So those ones, you, you, can, you can mix these up a bit, okay? How are we doing? Can we move on? Great, yeah. Keep Questions going. so far? Keep going. We're good? Uh, number three is very similar, but we're going to scrunch the first three sixteenth notes together and get one E and, so there's no pause on the E. We're actually going to play the E, yeah, the rhythm E. So the rhythm is now one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. Bass hat hat, snare hat hat, bass hat hat, snare hat hat. So cool. that, one, that one works with two hands as well, right? Yeah. And speed is up to you guys. You know, start it slow, make it groove, and then speed it up and take it. Yeah. And in, in what style uh, would you say that these grooves are used? Because what I hear when I listen to you play them, I hear uh, obviously more disco for the first one and like more a <laughs> funk sure. style yeah. for the other ones. But uh, like we were saying in the beginning, like I, I was inspired to do this stuff with Carter Bulford, Dave Matthews. From Dave Matthews, but yeah. how would you categorize his music though? Yeah, that, well, that's why I asked you. Yeah. Like, where, you see what I'm how saying? do you categorize these grooves? And it's funny how, you know, it, but. Uh, <laughs> It's funny, it's a long, long way to answer, but you know, between the funk stuff and the way drummers are getting more contemporary, I guess we can say, with yeah. rock or pop, you know, mm -hmm. and so many drummers are getting away from just straight ahead eighth notes to making it groove a little bit more. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'd say almost everywhere. Like that last thing, you can almost get into a ska type of vibe. That's true. Yeah. You do it slow, reggae, right? You do it uh, sort of medium and start adding some other notes and get into funk, you know, mm -hmm. so all over the place, guys. Yeah. Absolutely all over the place. Yeah. Uh, let's go to, uh, can we do number four? Well, let's let's actually. Can I just ask one question? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we usually do questions uh, during the, the daily lessons that we have on there. You're allowed to submit a question. We're kind of crush, cr a crunch for time, but I'll let, ask you one question here, Mike. Sure, man. Uh, this one's from Willie, and since we just hey, did number two and three, he just says, is there a difference between counting number two and three? Maybe if you just want to go how you would count it. You kind of started yeah. a little bit there. but Okay, so number two, I mean, you're still going to count all the 16th notes, but what I do with number two is I won't count, uh, I won't actually say or play the E. So if I'm going one E and a, uh, it's one E. And uh, one e and uh, two e and uh, three e and uh, four. So your three in a row ends up being on your and uh, quarter note, mm -hmm. right? And uh, one and uh, two and uh, three. Where number three, it's those sixteenth notes, but you're not playing the ah. So out of those four notes, you're getting rid of the ah. One e and uh, two e and uh, three e and uh, four e. And. So there is a difference. Put it to a click. You'll hear the difference with a click with a metronome. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, so today is a, a public lesson. This is something that goes on YouTube afterwards. So one thing we like to do is, especially when Mike is here, oh, we like why? to get him to play a ton of tracks. <laughs> so Mike's going to play to another track for you guys. This is taken from your jazz or Latin drumming system. Which one? The 6-8 uh, one? Uh, which one are you playing, right playing now? Um, I got a bunch. We can pick a bunch. You tell me what you want. Uh, do one from the jazz drumming system. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like all the tracks from that product. Oh, yeah. uh, but while Mike's doing that, you guys, I just want to remind you... Um, if you want to have an opportunity to win any of the stuff we're giving away, we're giving away like $300 worth of stuff at the end of the show. And so if you want to have a chance to win that, you go to facebook.com forward slash Drumeo and just like that page and then leave a comment and tell us what is your symbols that you're currently using and why do you use them. By liking that page, you'll also get notified of the next live lesson and the next free one that's, uh, that's uh, free and public for everyone. So. Honestly, you, you you will not be disappointed. Are you ready to go? I will do your favorite. Now, this isn't the kit that I would do My this on. My favorite? Your favorite from the jazz drumming oh, system. Is it the 5-4 one? 
No, uh, uh, tempo. Uh, let's, let's up tempo trading. Oh, yes. 20, yeah. 20, yeah. 20, yeah, 20 yeah, yeah. beats a minute. Yeah. I tried to play this one, but I, I, I wouldn't normally use a drum kit this big <laughs> for this song. <laughs> I've seen you request this. I like, only this. I, I, I would just <laughs> use the these mini, mini the right track, there. Yeah. So. Okay, so let's play. Uh, I'll play. It's been a while, but let's see what happens. This is the, uh, the fast track from the jazz drumming system. Hopefully, some of you guys have this, and I thank you if you do. Cool. It's awesome that you could just play that. Like, oh, man. I know, you rocked that out on those thick, thick cymbals, too. <laughs> on the big, thick rock cymbals, man. I oh, that was great. That's my other playlist. Right? <laughs> so, um, that's fine. So, like I said, we're going to do the giveaways at the end. If you guys are wondering when it's going to happen, go to facebook.com slash drumeo and leave your comments there. Other than that, let's continue let's with move on. the okay. lesson. So, so, no, <clears throat> sorry. Okay. Number four. <laughs> I'm not used to having two guys here. This is great. It's like a big party. This is great. Um, number four is a combination of number two and number three. And uh, yeah, I've I heard tons of drummers doing these kind of grooves um, when I was when I was first starting out. And I thought this is pretty cool. So this one is linear once again, and no nothing's being played at the same time. And the rhythm is one and a two e and three and a four e and bass hat hat snare hat hat bass hat hat snare hat hat. Do you recommend people actually do that? Before they start practicing the beat? Well, one thing, yeah, what I would say is, is if you can get the rhythm in in your head or in yeah. your body, it's a lot easier to apply it over to the drums, you know, mm -hmm. some You know, and that works for some people, not all, right? Yeah. And if I can get it if I can get a student doing that and they go, Okay, I kinda got the idea, they don't have to sort of stick their face into the music, yeah. but some people can would rather visually read it. So I'd say if you can and you can make that work, absolutely. So I'm just thinking <laughs> boom, two, two, cat, 
count. So it's a one and a two E and all sixteen. So here we go. Cool. And so on and so on. Yeah. I actually heard my one of my drum teachers do that once with his band, and I was like, "You're God, you're God." I'm yeah. to be able to learn how to do that. And that was <laughs> that was a part of our next lesson when I saw him. Um, so that was a fun one. Uh, next. Yes. Yeah. Go for Ooh, it. We are. Number we're five. still linear. We're still linear. Uh, I'm putting the hi hat notes or the cymbal notes on all of the E's and the A's. So if you're thinking sixteenths, this is a weird one. If, if I always say if it feels weird, you're doing it right. Okay. Uh, the bass drum is simply playing one and and also on three and snares on two and four, so I kept it pretty simple that way. Now what I would suggest doing is starting it with this guy. Some of you might go, whoa, this is a weird and wacky one, so we're kind of getting into more intermediate world here. But I might start with this, okay? Just do this first. Just so you can see there's a familiar pattern there for some of you guys that have already played that. Now what's going to happen with the hi-hat is the hi-hat's going to play one, e and a, two, e and a, three, e and a, four, e and a. So you might want to just try the hands for something like this. Put it all together and hopefully get this. That's a good one if you really want to mess up your band members. <laughs> hey guys, I got a new beat. You take it yeah. to the band and they're like, well, I like the one. I always play that one, but I'll, I'll put the, I think it's a little bit, makes it a little bit more advanced, but I'll put the eighth note uh, snare shots just ghosted and then actually oh. accent those. So it's basically just a single stroke roll started with your left hand Ooh. with uh. you accenting the snare. So it's that, 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 that. And you'll be teaching that next week, <laughs> won't you? <laughs> That's crazy cool. So once again, but a, a, a perfect example of what Jared's saying is trying to get creative with this stuff. These are just examples, guys. If a good starting point, a good foundation for doing this, get fancier as you move on. Okay, mm -hmm. Let's move on. Is that cool? Yes. Um, okay, so number six, I had to start getting a little sillier. Um, it's not so consistent. Okay, And this beat is not linear. Everything on this beat is linear except for the very first hit. We have a hi-hat and a bass drum together. So don't think that... Uh, the group of three e and and one e and are the same because they're not okay so a little bit of a uh, reading here but this is kind of a little funky beat kind of a funky pop beat so uh this one here we got one e ah on the bass on the hi-hat sorry for the first part snare on two and of two on the hi-hat bass drum on three e ah on the hi-hat and then snare hat hat snare which is four e and ah try saying all that fast no, no thanks. No, okay. So, no. That's It'll be easier one. to hear that's it. That's another lesson all on this song. Easier to hear it. I'll just play it for you guys. Yeah. Here we go. Nice and slow. Very cool. And I've heard I, that somewhere. I always learn this by doing what I said earlier. It's figuring out the rhythm first. Like even just looking at that, right away my the way my head processes mm -hmm. it, it goes da, da, 
I'll just do the high end or I'll just, sometimes I'll add the snare in, but. Awesome. Yeah. You know, and you know, you guys can take some of these hi hat notes and put them on the tom and watch what happens yes. there. It becomes or real fun. Move them down the drums, like just even put your totally. right hand moving down the drums. <laughs> we could cool. spend a whole day just discussing about how much cooler we can make these beats, right? Even <laughs> just, you know, we could take one, we could take one of these beats yeah. and we could do a whole nother hour lesson on it. Oh, I know. Where we just took it and yeah. continued to build, yeah. build, take away, build, take away. You know, so. it's always fun to say, people say to me, how many drum beats do you know? Yeah. I'm like, eh, three, four. Trillion. Million, trillion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, because <laughs> you, you mix all this yeah. stuff up. And uh, yeah. it was always kind of a funny question from non drummers. So how many beats do you know? A yeah. mm, couple. Yeah. <laughs> couple. Can Sounds I interrupt you guys for a second? Yeah. yeah. Um, I just wanted to say, I was talking with uh, Single Serve. Are you here, Single Serve? You're one of our, one of our Drumeo members. And yeah. we're talking, we do reviews of you guys' videos. You are more than welcome to submit them, um, ask for critiques and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Me and Jared, while you were, while you were jamming today, we watched uh, Single Serve's video. Yeah, he's he did here. It. He's here? Yeah. Beautiful. Cool. Yeah. Um, so I thought I would just do a quick little review. Me and Jared both watched it. And yeah. uh, for all you guys who are here watching the free, uh, free lesson, this is what we kind of do every now and yeah, then. Basically, in our forum, what we've done is we've let, allowed members to create a space. So you have an actual space in our forum with your username. And there you can kind of create your whole story, your whole thread of all your videos. And then those are something that we check regularly. Me and Dave are on the phone every day. And uh, it's something that we can go watch your videos. And then now we're able to actually give you reviews. So I don't really have a real name. I feel funny calling you single served. Um, I'm, I don't know. Maybe that's your real name. I'm not trying to make fun of you. Don't make fun of his name. It, hey, it could be. I'm not making fun nickname. of his name. I'm just saying. By the way, people it's, are people are wondering if you lost another bet. Is that why your hair is buzzed again? I. <laughs> buddy, <laughs> you're cutting your hair. That's hey, it's fun. Yeah. We're cutting it on camera. Dave agreed to it. What? Yeah. Are post you... your link. Post your links below and or post your comments below and tell him how much you want to cut. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I remember when Dave had hair like that. I yeah, those, those, those days. days so fucked. Jared, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> First day back and I'm already getting abused. Okay, here we go. Oh, by the way, this um. is um. Oh come on, guys. <laughs> this is uh ACDC uh, ACDC cover yeah. and um. Really go. good job, man. Well, they, they, they gotta get the... Contour, Dave. Contour, contour. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Good. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna give my critique first, or, or and feedback first, if that's alright. Um, and then Dave, you, I know you had some really good yeah, sure, good, uh, go for it. Good feedback as well. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I think you have great time, and I can tell you've studied technique and grip as far as like hand positioning and stuff like that. So I think you're doing a really, really good job with that. Now I don't know how tall you are. Um, you look like you could be close to six feet, and what I'm seeing with your your drum setup is that everything is set up a little bit low. And I know, Dave, your feedback when we were talking about this was that you felt he was a little bit hunched over. Yeah, I kind of crouched in. And what, then I think that's maybe is going to restrict you when you start to move around the kit and you, when you start to develop speed. And if you sit up higher, move everything a little bit higher, this is what I've done. And I, you might not agree with me because you, you sit, you've completely changed your setup over the years. Oh, yeah. so you might have some interesting <laughs> feedback on this. But from my perspective, I think you're, you're maybe sitting too low and that's going to restrict you when you start to move around the kit. But overall, your time is is great. Um, I would say hit the drums harder. I don't know if you're you're maybe trying to keep the noise down, the neighbors happy. But I would, and especially on that song, just um, lay let into her, it let and, her and go for it. Looks like it's daytime. The heck with the neighbors. I see a window in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about What's you, up, Dave? Uh, Jared actually said a lot of a lot of key points that I was going to touch on too. I I also can tell that your legs right now are almost at the ninety degree or even less than that, maybe like an eighty degree angle. And um, with your knees, and I usually like to have mine anywhere ninety and above. Uh, I know it, it just helps me to play a little bit quicker, a little with a little bit more power with my feet. So yeah, raise your stool a bit, um, get your posture going. I mean, when you're practicing, it's really easy, especially when you're just jamming to kind of slouch a bit. So yeah, just maybe sit up a little bit. And um, he says the stair didn't have the volume so he couldn't really wail. Oh, yeah. I believe he said he was uh, six two. I'm not saying you can't sit low if that's what's comfortable. I'm just this is from my perspective. Yeah. And uh, 
And he's saying he had to play quiet. Okay, and that makes sense. But dude, you did an awesome job. And, nice. and yeah, good honestly, feel, really nice feel. Very, very good feel. And so you have what, what is, I think, the most important thing in uh, playing drums, and that is feel mm -hmm. and groove. If you don't have that, like no bands are going to want to work with you. Right. So. Yeah, cool. But, yeah, absolutely. the only other thing I was going to say was play with more confidence, but I guess you can't when you can't even hear the song. So maybe invest in yeah. some in ears or something like yeah. that. So. Cool. Next thing, Mike, are you yeah. ready to play another track? Another track? Yeah, I'm just do something from Latin drum. Yeah, yeah. Can, you, can you do the 6 8 and Amigo? I would like that one, yeah. I yeah. love that. that uh, before he does that and while he gets that queued up, I just want to remind you guys who are watching and you, you aren't yet a part of the community. Um, this is something we're just doing to kind of give back, and we're actually at the end of the lesson going to do a bunch of giveaways where we're going to give away some sticks. Um, not this t-shirt, but a t-shirt like this, uh, as well as an EQ patch. I don't want people to say I want that t-shirt. You can have this I shirt. sweat in it. And, uh, and uh, what else are we giving away? Oh, and a uh, monthly membership to Drumio Live, and we're giving away an annual membership. So we're giving away like three or four hundred dollars worth of stuff. Yeah. In order to enter, it's, it's brutally simple. Go to facebook.com forward slash Drumio, click like, obviously, and then leave us a comment on that page. Tell us... What type of symbols do you use, and why do you use them? Are you ready to go, Mike? I am. Okay. So let's do something from the Latin drumming system. Nice. And once again, for all you guys that have this, thank you so much. This I hope is, you're not tired of my voice yet. <laughs> this is my favorite package that you've put together. It was fun. Man. Yeah, yeah, I had a blast doing this one. Yeah. This was great because it's, it's, it's a style of music that really took my drumming to a whole new level. I think so. I mean, jazz did, but then it was like, well, jazz leaned into the Latin stuff. Yeah. And that's, to this day, there's there's some really great tunes that I'm actually in the midst of writing right now that have a Latin flavor. So. Cool. Let's do the 6-8 uh, six, to... Uh, Six eight Nanigo. Cool.
That's awesome. I'm used to going a longer with that one. That's fine. <laughs> we have a, we actually have a whole week of Latin coming up here soon. Cool. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be awesome. I told Mike uh, before the lesson, like I have a china over there. This, this, these are my symbols. Uh, I let these guys beat on, and Sean totally wrecked my china. Sean Lang. Sean Lang. Sean, yeah, Sean you online suck, right and you totally wrecked my symbols. And I'm gonna send you a bill. And you, you said, "Let me try to break it." I, I, I don't know, man. I said, "I told Mike to finish it off." And so maybe if uh, if, if you will go like a couple minutes longer, and you can see, you can play for you know well, I'll tell two you what. minutes and see if you can finish. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 please! You're gonna break everything else too if you get those. The rack falls over. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. let's Let's finish up. We got uh, seven exercises seven to ten, and then we're gonna do some giveaways, guys. Cool. So stick around. Yes. Okay, cool. seven. We get into triplet land. Triplet land, and we're back in the linear field. And uh, with uh, with triplets, it's just groups of threes: one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, based on one and three. Uh, snare on two and four. Hi hat playing. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Now, guys, don't get this one mixed up with three and four. Yeah, that's okay? what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. I think and that's the, the tendency a lot of people have, you know, is they look at three and four and they go, hey, triplets. No, look at number seven. There's groups of number threes written above them. Yeah. So you can't, you have to keep them as, you know, one triplet, two triplet. There was no pause in that rhythm. So those guys keep on going with all the triplets. Now, number eight is one of my personal faves, and I've seen Cajun Spice play this one on many occasions. On many well, Cajun Spice occasions. <laughs> <Make> you... <laughs> Um, this is a, the same thing, uh, bass is on one and three, snares on two and four. The hi-hat's now playing uh, quarter note triplets, okay? Which is actually every second triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Ends up being a straight pulse. This one's a bit of a trip, watch this. sort of exposed to this beat, I was kind of freaked out because I think it was at a drum clinic somewhere and the, uh, the guy was counting the tuning. And he went, one, two, three, four, uh, 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 uh. I was like, yeah. what? Mm -hmm. and, but he was right because that pulse on the hi-hat is different than a quarter note. It's a quarter yeah. note triplet. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and I, 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 I think of it as like, Almost, you could start counting six, eight, like one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and one, one two, two, and three, and four. Yeah. You bet. And yep. It sounds exactly the same. So yeah. someone yeah. from an, uh, an outsider just listening to that, I could yeah. see them get being very confused. Yeah. I thought a musical application, yeah. yeah. Should I move on? Yes. Number Should, nine. Yes. Number nine. We are taking uh, groups of some of the examples we previously did. And uh, what's happening at number nine is we've got a group of triplets. On the first beat, second beat, we have two E and. The third beat, we have more groups of triplets, but it's not linear. And then on the fourth group, we have a snare drum followed by two sixteenths on the anda. So this is getting a little funky. So you guys definitely want to play these ones slow, put it to a metronome, and see, um, you know, just to make sure that everything is lining up before you pick up the speed on this one. I'll start it really slow. It's going to sound weird. That's because it is kind of weird, but it's super cool when you get it going. Ready? Yeah. That's so freaky. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. It's too close together. Right? Sneakers in a dryer, dude. Yeah. Sneakers in a dryer. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm trying to keep the bass drum and the snare as solid as yeah, solid as possible. I, I don't think that okay. should be allowed to use that. <laughs> <sort of laughs> but the thing is, you gotta keep that 
that solid base um, of the bass drum and the snare really solid in order for that to work. But once cool. again, that's if you're getting really creative and writing with some bands that can they can handle these kind of grooves. You know, don't do this to an ACDC play along. <laughs> okay, because it's not yeah, going to work. That won't sound good. It'll sound weird. Yeah. Uh, it might be fun, but it may not work. Anyway, so let's move on to number 10. Last but not least, this one is a ascending speed exercise because we get faster. The, the, the tempo, tempo stays the same, but the note value gets larger. So we've got two eighth notes followed by three triplets, four sixteenth notes, and six sixteenth note triplets. And I was trying this one today at home at 100, and you have to be able to play sixteenth note triplets at 100 to be able to do this one. With one hand. With one hand. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I was thinking, I didn't, I didn't even try it with two, but uh, you could. Why not try to do it? So I'm going to start it slow, and I'll start picking it up, but you'll notice that uh, the hi-hat picks up uh, picks up speed, okay, or picks up more notes on the way, and then as soon as I get back to the one, it's like, oh, slows down. So check this one out. Here we go. Cool. That cool. I would suggest playing that one with a metronome too. Oh yeah, yeah big, so, time. You know. big time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very cool, man. Yeah, these are fun. Like, it's a good starting point. I think a really yeah. good starting point for guys that have never done this before. Even you guys that have done it before, jump into it and revisit these and speed them up, mix up the sticking, yeah. have some fun with them. Excellent. Yeah. I agree. Um, so basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some questions. Cool. Before we do that. Is that right? Yeah, it's fine yeah. with me. Before we do that, <laughs> well, you're in, you're in charge. I'm just trying. To I'm just trying to uh, <clears throat> sift through all the questions that aren't about who's this bronze-skinned guy <laughs> beside you. Uh, <laughs> let's move it on. Let's move on. From there. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the last <laughs> reminder for you guys wanting to enter the competition. In a couple minutes, we're going to be going through all those answers. We're going to read some of them out, and we're going to choose a few of you guys. Uh, so, if you want to enter, you go to facebookcom forward slash drumio. Um, you get a chance to win some of this T-shirt. Not this exact T-shirt. I have to. Not this exact t-shirt, but one like it. Uh, an EQ patch, a pair of drumsticks, a uh, monthly membership to Drummy Alive, and an annual membership to Drummy Alive. So it's something like five cool. prizes, over $300 worth of stuff. Yeah. Um, so go to facebook.com forward slash Drummyo. Tell us what type of symbols you use and why you use them. Okay. Um, Can I just go through a few questions here? Yes. Um, we usually, get to, we usually try to get through all the questions, but Monday lessons are a bit hard like we've uh, yeah. I said in the past. But first question from a lot of people is why is your snare so angled? Because I like, uh, to, I like, I like to, to think that, that I'm driving. Yeah. You know, you know, it's it's something that just kept changing, and I don't know why. And and as I sat higher, you think that my snare would get flatter. And I don't know if it's just the way that my hand angle has changed or what. But I kept hitting the rim, and the only way to not hit the rim when I was not trying to get a rim shot was to keep angling it down, down, and down. And you know what? I look at it and I go, "Wow, that's extreme." But mm -hmm. I, you know what, guys? And the simple answer is, it feels good. I don't know why. You know, but on my jazz yeah. kit at home is very flat because I'm not going for the same effect. I'm not yeah. doing rim shots there. I'm playing more traditional grip. But here, it just feels good. I don't know why. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here's a question here from Andres, um, Andres Pacon. I don't want to put you on the spot here. Maybe we can get this <clears> another time. But he says, can you maybe provide an example of a broken high beat that included drag or drags? Um, I'm sure that, that he could just add some into the existing exercise. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, well, something. I mean, does it mean something like this? A ghost note, before. yeah, like on the hat, maybe. Yeah. Anything's possible as, if you've yeah, got the perfect. rudiment, yeah, yeah something yeah. like that. So, for sure. What, what he was doing there is he's just really incorporating his <clears throat> left hand to do a quick double stroke mm -hmm. that's followed by the one single stroke in the right hand, and then just like you could kind of mod any of those exercises that Mike's provided <laughs> to kind of include something like that. Sure. Daniel J. Jones asks, is that a micro snare over the left side of the hi-hats there? No, this is a timbalito. It's a maple timbalito that Yamaha doesn't make anymore. Oh, that's a shame. It's cool. Sounds yeah. good. It's you got a Dream Theater badge cool. on there too? Oh, I got a little Dream Theater badge. Yeah. I didn't want to. That's <laughs> copyright reasons I didn't want anybody to see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. Um, 
Okay, here's one from Bob. I'm trying to determine the best cymbal set for 60s and 70s rock while we're on the topic of cymbals. Sure, yeah. Um, I.e. hi-hat ride crash. Does anybody have... Do you, does anybody need two crashes or do you need two crashes? Maybe the sizes for hi-hats. Any quick little tips on that? that? Well, for me, yeah, the reason I like two crashes is if I'm over here and I want to do a quick crash, right? If I'm on the hat in here. I mean, let's say that I'm riding over here. Say I'm, my ride's here and I want to always be reaching. Yeah. So two, two crashes, is, it's just it's nice to have. It's like extra toms and stuff. So for me, what about you guys? Yeah. Same thing, same thing for me. I like two crashes. One crash, for, it's not enough, as much about the reach for me as it is about the same sound over and over again. Mm. If I'm doing uh, like a crash yeah. and a crash, I don't want it to sound... I want it to sound... Yeah. Some, yeah. Something yeah. different. Yeah. A different attack. As far as the sounds go, um, I, I'm not sure what's, what you'd kind of get that would sound different, but I think these cymbals would sound great with like playing 70s rock. You could try and get some really old cymbals. Um, I think back then they were a little bit thicker, were they yeah, not? Like but I mean, you think of 70s rock, like John Bonham, so the yeah. Peisty 2002s, yeah. right? All the 2002s, the, I mean, if we're going Peisty, right? Yeah. All the, the Rude series that Stuart Copeland used, I'm going back to that era. Yeah, right? the Rude, yeah, yeah. yeah. Peisty Rude, check those out. Peisty Rudes or the yeah. 2002s, but... Last part, question, sizes for hats, any specific size? 14s are pretty standard. 14s are uh, standard. Um, I have a hard time with Jared's 15s. I love the sound of them. I, I, to me, those would be mounted, though, because I just can't get the response yet. I'd have to spend some time with yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. I have a set of 13s, too. So I have 13 and you 14. Know, I want to get a set of 14s. Yeah. Uh, 13s are too small. Although I have a set of 13s, but they're my side hats. Those are your side hats, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny how that works. It's the other way around, yeah. yeah. Um, well, really quick question here. What uh, kind of heads are on this kit? Uh, these are uh, Evans EC2 clears, and uh, my snare is a Evans Power Center reverse dot, G1 coated over here, G2 coated on the mini timbales, uh, coated E mat on the bass drum. Yeah. Excellent. That you are endorsed by Evans. Yes. Yes. Cool. Good guys over there. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome and guys. what type of Yamaha kit is this? This one's from Bobby Davis. This is this is Jared's, isn't it? Yeah, this or is, is it mine yet? Is it mine yet? No, it's Die. not yours. Twentieth anniversary <laughs> recording custom. Yeah, it's pretty. It's nice, isn't it? Yes, it's nice. You know what, Mike? <laughs> you played that kit more than I have probably since I've. Then it, it should be in my home. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a, another recording custom as well. That's yeah, the green one. Yeah. yeah, very very rare color, but yeah. I, I just. <laughs> I have my DW, and then we have Jason's Casey kit here. So. Yeah. Okay, we have a bunch of other questions, but uh, we do have to give some stuff away. Okay, let's let's, let's give some stuff away. If we have time at the very end, we'll get to the last couple okay. questions. Uh, so basically, if you if you guys haven't posted your comment yet, you might have a few minutes left. You can go do it. We're going to continue to update it as we go. But I've got the whole kind of list expanded here. And is this auto-updating? Uh, no, I have to close this and not update. That's what I just did, too. Let me just refresh this. And so basically what we're doing is, is we ask the simple question, what type of symbols do you use and why do you use them? And uh, we've got you to post on our Facebook wall. Nice. And so there's quite a few here. There's like well over 100, I believe. Somebody even posted a picture of their symbols too. Nice. Cool. Um, okay, so what are we giving away first here? Let's give away the Drumeo, the new Drumeo shirt. Not this one that I'm wearing, but another one. Unless you special request it and Jared <laughs> will give it to you. Yeah, exactly. You if you exactly. actually want it, you, you can uh, you can go put on eBay so getting bids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna choose someone randomly, and Mike, you'll choose someone as well, and Dave will choose someone for one of them. For the shirt? For no, I'll choose the shirt. You guys can choose the for the next one. Okay, Dave sounds good. Um, <clears throat> let's go with. I guess I got to see that. Cody Edwards. You currently, Cody, he says, I currently use Zildjian cymbals that fit, oh my goodness, they fit the sound of the band I play in, which is grunge and rock, and they'd be my choice of cymbals. Cody, you just won a Drumeo shirt. Nice. Congrats, dude. So all you need to do to kind of collect your bounty is email dave at drumeo.com. Yes, Dave email you uh, your address and size. Yeah. And yeah, you don't have to have this size or anything. We have lots of sizes. Uh, next one. Mike, are you going to choose? Mike's, Mike's what's the prize? Way. The next prize is going to be the EQ, the EQ pad. Yeah, EQ patch. Evans. Evans make, I think they're on that one. They make these cool EQ patches that you put on your bass drum head, and they totally protect the head. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll dent it way less. And actually, you know, constant repeated hitting of that bass drum in the exact same position, you'll notice sometimes the heads get a little crack in them. So Evans has this EQ patch that just um, just protects it. You know, it's, they're like $50 drum heads, and so put an EQ patch on there and it'll help. Who gets it? Well, I see someone dropping my name here. Should we give it to them? You can give it to whoever you want. Just you choose. Okay, uh, Simon Stewart. 
Simon <laughs> he dropped my name. He dropped my name. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the man who just created the uh, drum lab. Oh, cool, out in the man. UK. Heavy. That is that, that drum. I saw the pictures on Facebook. That is that's perfect. Yeah. Simon, perfect. Just, just Congratulations, email me. Simon. Yeah, just email me a reminder. Yeah. I'll get that sent out to you. Okay, this one's going to be for a pair of sticks. We've got 707s. They are pretty good. They're yep. nice, like 5As, I guess yeah. you could say. Pretty, Go pretty ahead, you choose. Okay, this one's going to be Mike Ragusa. Hey. Pearl CX300s, 14 inch hats, a minor. Um, I'm going to pronounce that Rick. wrong. 17 inch crash, Pearl CX300 18 inch ride, and a Zildjian Planet Z 16 inch crash. Why? It's what came with my set from Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, awesome. brilliant. That's so, awesome. Mike, email me, yeah. davidromeo.com, and I'll send you a pair of sticks. Congratulations, buddy. Okay, uh, <laughs> next next one we're going to go with is the monthly membership to Drumio Live. Now, with Drumio Live, you get, basically, we do five live lessons every single week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually, I don't want to kind of let the cat out of the bag too early, but I'm working on adding more wow. lesson times and more dates. And so um, that's coming very, very soon. So you get a month, one month free membership to the to the service and you can view all of the live lessons as well as all of the past archives. There's something like almost 100 hours of isn't there like something? Like yeah, and then so, if you do the math, like within the end of this year, it's going to be about two hundred and sixty hours. Yeah, so it, it's lessons. insane how much yeah. uh, how much content you get, and <laughs> all the lessons come with sheet music, and a lot of them come with MP threes that you can play along with, and so um, it's just an unbelievable service that's only getting better. Like it's still in its infancy. So yeah. Um, so this is a month free. A month free. Okay. And the month, month free time. goes to Carl J Valentine. Carl says, hey, guys, I love... Do you know him? Nope. I okay. Really, <laughs> you, 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 he wouldn't be able to get it then. Do, do you know, know him? No. Okay. Good. No, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> it would be like a conflict of interest if you knew him. It's like if you knew Simon Stewart. <laughs> one of those kind of things. I don't know. I just, I just, I just know him as a, as a, uh, a member. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, he says, hey, guys, love the lesson structure. Fan structure fantastic i bought a five-piece pearl set for my daughter who eventually decided to play on wind instruments so i packed away the kit and after a few years i made room for it myself and after buying some new hardware heads all i could afford were sabian b8s 14 16 18 inch crashes 20 inch ride 10 inch splash and 14 inch hats as well as a set of that's all you could afford sabian 13 inch aax hats I really like the warmer tones compared to the few zildjian ones he has and he used to play guitars and looking forward to learning playing the drums that's cool. awesome. Awesome. Carl, you yeah. won uh, a one month free of Drumio Live. Contact Dave at Drumio.com and he'll get you all set up. Cool. Perfect. Congrats. Okay, now. You're picking the last one. This no, is I think Mike picked the last one. This, really? is for, this is for the year. And what's, what's the qualifications? What does this person need? Okay. How, 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 I'll give you three letters and you choose a letter. Three letters? And then I'll, you choose a letter of, and it'll be the letter of the, the person's first name. We're making this way too difficult. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like that drum kit. <laughs> Mike's just looking at the pictures. Drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll, going through this these all. This is a $200 year. value. So this is a $200 value. And what if, so this wouldn't be somebody who already has a membership. No. Put it there. Okay. If they did, they could, they could add it to their They membership. could add it to their other one. Let's go with... Sounds good. Let's go with Luke Russie. Luke, Luke Russi. Russi. Russ? Luke Russ. What kind of symbols does he use in what? He says, I'm using Peisty PST3s because they sound great for the money and are uh, nice and bright, which goes well with my uh, VXB kit. Also, nice. thanks for the vids, guys. You do a great job. In fact, it's pretty much a service. Yes. Yes. And thanks, is, bud. It's more Congratulations, man. Yeah. So you guys contact uh, Dave at drumio.com. You can claim your prize. And um, for those of you watching on YouTube, you guys always leave so many nice most of you leave so many nice comments because uh, these videos if you met if not everyone catches them live so we post them on youtube later um but uh most of you guys leave nice comments but some of you guys are saying oh less talk more drumming and stuff more like that and so we're trying to you know we listen we're li always listening um in the members area we we listen so closely to everything the members say but i really hope you appreciate these videos please leave your comments below and let us know what, what you think of these lessons and most of all, follow us on uh, Facebook because that's where all the updates will come about new lessons and new things happening with Drumio. So, very cool. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Dave, for letting me crash the party. Yeah, I let Jerry come in this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mike, this is great. Yeah. A blast today. Yeah. This is a nice change. Yeah. Great job, man. Can you play us out? I can play yeah. you guys out. Yeah. I, 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 I said, use the big sticks and see what you can do on that symbol. 
How about near the end? I'll grab them at the yeah. end. I'll play Do a it. song. I'll play a song from the drumming system. Okay. How about for those folks that have yeah. the drumming system? Nice. Um, a three-four kind of a funk, slow funky thing with lots of little drum fills and goofiness, and we'll have some fun with this. But this is. By the way, guys, keep an eye on his left foot. There, you got a left foot cowbell going. I do. You do. Ah, where'd that come from? Well, he's not going to use it. Use it necessarily. Ah, uh, I should have set it before the Nanigo, the eight six eight, because he used it on there. And yeah. It was awesome. I Thanks, man. You guys caught it. It yeah. was really. I, cool. I didn't even realize it was there. Yeah. <laughs> you just subconsciously. No. Uh, maybe I'll. I'll well, we'll see. And we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll be doing a three four funk. <laughs> might work maybe I'll just play quarter notes or something like that but we'll do that but I want to thank everybody okay yeah. uh, thank you guys thank you guys no you shake your hands hey, now yeah, no, right. thank you it's always a pleasure yeah thank, thank you. you anyone who's has my videos I love you all uh, Jackson buddy if you're watching get well soon and oh, he's, sick. Uh, huh? he's sick he's sick and he had a little accident but he's he's healing so cool he's doing okay Good stuff. but okay. Uh, okay guys so thanks so much and we'll see you all real soon I'll play a, a tune from the Two. drumming system just want to say one more thing to all the um, Drumio members this whole week's on rock beats we have eight note rock beats 16 note rock beats and phrasing within beats and stuff like that so definitely come on out for that we got a, a really cool week ahead of us and cool. I apologize for not getting to all the questions every lesson we usually make sure we get through all the questions except for Mondays because it's just too busy um, so I apologize for that come out tomorrow we'll make sure we catch up with all the questions and i'll see you guys all tomorrow cool later see you all right